everybody welcome to the channel the sea is calling you this is Ajit Matthew this is the part two of the video of what jobs to apply on cruise lines in this part we're going to specifically talk about revenue earning departments we're going to talk about some support departments and definitely the administrative department so these are roles which are very specific to a certain skill sets and if you have them this will help you apply for those positions on board the next video after this is going to be specifically about how to apply, which are the different avenues of applying online or directly with local hiring units or which companies or third parties do you think is a good opportunity for you to apply. All right. So don't forget to click on the subscribe button because this is your opportunity to know more about how to build a career at sea. Let's go right into our topic today. As mentioned before, I'm going to look at what are the different revenue departments and what positions you can apply for them. When a guest books a ticket or a cruise, he gets a ticket to which includes the food, which includes the stay and some activities on board. Now what happens is cruise lines are built with a lot more things that they can offer a guest. And so those extra activities which are not part of the tickets are generating revenue for the company. So these are revenue departments. Now the advantage of that for you and me is that it offers extra job opportunities for everybody especially with a certain skill set so let's look at what are those opportunities and what are the entry level requirements for these positions first on that list is definitely the excursion department now once we docked at different locations the guests want to see the place right they are there because they want to enjoy the, the new land they want to meet new cultures so what happens is there is a shore excursions Again, this is very specific to certain uh, ships, uh, certain ship brands. They might call it different in different companies. But in the end of the day, these are the, uh, this is the desk which arranges different kinds of tours for the guest. So this, the opportunity here for people to apply for jobs here, the requirements is generally two of them. One is a travel and tourism background, which helps them ensure that they get an uh, some good knowledge about places. And the other one is sales experience okay a little bit of sales experience would be a good idea so the entry level position for a show excursions position is generally in an associate level and so this helps each of you who have got a travel and tourism background has worked as tour operators or travel agents or even tour guides this is a good opportunity for you to apply for Gaming and casinos, yeah, that is definitely one of the favorite for our guests. The guests enjoy coming on board and once the ship is sailing and it's in international waters, they have the opportunity to go and uh, try their luck at the casinos. So that's the reason why they require people who've already worked in a casino. An experience uh, of one or two years working as a dealer, which is the entry level position, will help you secure a position on board ships for, a, uh, for the casino. Uh, there is also slot attendants, uh, people who have worked under, uh, and looked after slot machines uh, on land. And definitely uh, one opening which is common to everybody is for people who worked uh, in uh, as a cashier in any organization can apply in the casino as well to directly uh, get into as a cashier position. So a uh, few entry level positions I mentioned there. One is definitely the dealer. Uh, the second one is cashier and def uh, the last one like I mentioned, this slot attendance is an entry-level position. Let's look at retail and spa. Yes, yeah, so what happens is not all uh, activities are uh, directly run by the cruise company itself. It outsources certain uh, positions. The retail and spa is one of these positions which they outsource to. The retail department, uh, one of the most commonly known brand which does it for uh, the ships is starboard uh, company they offer a lot of uh, retail options for the cruise lines and so if you are interested in a career uh, the entry level position for them is generally as a retail associate if you worked in a retail before then please go ahead and apply for that position uh, again this uh, being a third uh, party a vendor you may need to apply directly to their website uh, for opportunities there um, again, you may not find positions of retail uh, which are advertised in the company website uh, in the career section. The same thing with spa. 
The spa also, very famous company uh, is Steiner, there's also Canyon Ranch, but Steiner is known in the industry for coming up with amazing uh, opportunities for uh, massage therapists, they have acupuncturists, they have hairdressers, uh, various positions which are entry level positions into the spa. Uh, this will help you apply for uh, directly if you have some experiences, uh, experiences on land, uh, this will be a good opportunity for you to apply for. Again, go into the website of Steiner to get uh, more details about opportunities there. Uh, in the art department, which Park West is uh, the brand which uh, does various auctions on art uh, on board. So it is one of those positions wherein if you have worked in an auction house before, this will be a good opportunity for you to apply for. Uh, the other one is definitely uh, the next cruise sales. Now next cruise sales is another department which I have not listed here, but they are future cruises which are booked. So they look for people who are uh, have experience in sales, uh, have good uh, background in uh, public speaking and, and they are looking for opportunities for people who are able to make a good ending to their sale of, of future cruises. So this is one of those positions which uh, is directly hired as well. So it's a good opportunity if you see that happening online, go ahead and apply for that position. All right, bright and sunny, that's what photos do, uh, makes everybody happy and bright. So when the guests come on board, they do love to take memories with them and photos do that for them, right? So there is a photography department. A little uh, different with photos is that I've seen the last few years that a lot of companies have taken over the photo department, which previously used to be owned and run by a third party vendor. But now we have seen that uh, the companies are taking over that department and they have uh, hired their own photographers. So the entry level position for photos is definitely uh, through a photographer. If you have experience doing freelance photography, uh, it's a good opportunity there. Uh, one of the known companies for um, this in third party, for, for example, they are uh, Image. Uh, that's the name of the company whom you would like to go and apply. You can go online and search for them and apply for them in case you want to try an opportunity there. All right, so next what we have is sports games and kids activity, exactly. Now here, there are a lot of opportunities. Let's first go to the, uh, the sports side, okay? And in the sports side, uh, like this little picture over here by Disney, uh, they have the water sports. And so the first position that uh, is open is that of a lifeguard. It's become a very essential position on all the ships. Uh, the requirement of the lifeguard, which was not before, but right now it is. So if you have a license uh, for, are you, if you are a licensed lifeguard, so this is your direct entry position. The other is sports staff. Now with the coming of new ships and new facilities on ships, there are a lot of sports activities happening on board. So they have, they do hire sports staff, people who are working in uh, as sports coaches or who have work, who are uh, excellent athletes or gamers uh, can apply for this position and you will find a lot of companies do that again the names will be different uh, they're generally called uh, under the, uh, the entertainment and cruise division so it's a good idea for you to look for that opportunities there all right so I'm mentioning games over here uh, it's not actually games uh, only it's about various activities which are hosted for the guests so when a guest is on board, uh, if they are not going ashore or the ship is at sea, there are a lot of activities which are hosted on the ship for the guest to enjoy. So these activities uh, need to be uh, handled by the crew staff, uh, that's a position name, but uh, there are lots of different names which are used like hospitality staff, etc. Again, this is one of the entry level positions. The requirements for this job position include uh, having a very socially forward uh, personality, uh, definitely uh, have uh, experience hosting events, uh, being a master of ceremony, an MC uh, on stage, uh, a graduate uh, in performing arts is going to be an absolute plus for applying for this position. Talking about kids activities, yes, lovely uh, little kids uh, who come on board, they're there because uh, that's one of the greatest uh, push for the cruise industry right now is getting the families to come and cruise on board. So when they do that, there is uh, the kids department which ensures that they take care of all the activities for the kids on board. This gives the parents also some free time to walk around and enjoy the ship. So the cruise uh, department has this position called the youth uh, counselor, youth staff, different names, uh, kids care program, which is focused between ages from 6 to 17 years old. So what happens is 
the minimum requirement for this position is definitely uh, have worked uh, in a school or uh, if, you are, if you are a teacher who's uh, handled uh, large volumes of kids that's a good opportunity for you to go ahead and apply for the position of uh, the, the youth program wow all that fire work to welcome the exclusive sea rooms yes most of these new brands of ships and uh, the, the upcoming new building of ships have a special exclusive area for the suite rooms this is for the for the super premium people who'd love to spend the money and uh, travel on board uh, there are a lot of facilities and amenities and services which are provided for them uh, separately exclusive areas for them uh, when they cruise so the good part is that it also requires a really uh, classy kind of service uh, personalized service uh, proactive service and if you worked as a butler before uh, a loft attendant is uh, what they call some of them uh, they are also called as uh, with Royal Caribbean they're called as Royal Genie the various names for it but in the end of the day it's about being uh, able to provide the utmost personalized service with the class that is there so if you have uh, already a certificate of uh, a butler program uh, from an accredited university uh, this would be a good opportunity or if you're currently working as a butler uh, in one of those brands this will be a good opportunity for you to apply for the position okay so right now I'm gonna touch the last part of this uh, video and that's going to be administrative jobs at sea so uh, various administrative roles that are generally hired uh, on board the ships is to look at various aspects about supporting these operational departments that I have mentioned in both the videos so the first in that is human resources headed by the human resources manager Generally, this position, you may not find a lot of openings in this position if you apply uh, online. Uh, the reason being is that they generally uh, do internal promotions into the administrative roles. Now, when it comes to uh, positions uh, do which they do hire is as TND managers, training and development managers, you will find that position online. If you have exposure, uh, if you have a postgraduate degree or a degree in uh, human resources, uh, this will be a good opportunity for you to apply for uh, on board and uh, also they do hire, hire human resources managers uh, who have experience working as human HR on land. The next what we have is definitely positions which is the finance department uh, again this position is generally internally hired but there are uh, opportunities which are open you will find personal positions open on land uh, the similar position is what at sea uh, would help you apply for roles which have a good financial background uh, background in accountancy would help you get opportunities there uh, again can be found online one of the most looked forward to position on a ship is definitely the IT department the information and technology right now that is taking a, a, a big uh, jump in the industry because of so much of uh, updates and upgrades which is happening to all the functions and it is supported by the IT function the department is getting bigger and more support needed on ships so you will find a lot of opportunities uh, on board so if you have background in hard, uh, hardware as well as in software uh, this will be a good opportunity for you to apply please go online uh, you can directly apply in the organization's uh, websites you will find the IT department as a separate section for you to order uh, in order for you to apply for those positions uh, Inventory, if you've worked in the hotel industry, uh, in the purchase department, or you've worked in storekeeping, uh, you've worked in logistics, inventory is a good option uh, to get on ships. Uh, the entry level position in inventory is generally that of a storekeeper. Uh, you can apply for that position. You will find that happening. Uh, we have positions open for food storekeeper, uh, for uh, general storekeeper as well, uh, store utility. These are the roles which generally are open. You will find them uh, online uh, to apply either directly with the company or even a third party uh, online options. Last but not the least is to talking about medicals. It is one of the department which is an essential part of every ship running. So they generally ensure that uh, the uh, medical facility is well staffed. Uh, there would be requirements for a doctor, but definitely for a nurse. Uh, at these two positions depending on the size of the ship the number of people are higher uh, the ship that I last left from the Symphony of the Seas we have three doctors and five uh, nurses uh, which uh, are ensuring that the medical center is open 24 hours um, for the guest and uh, for the crew for various emergencies and requirements 
again this is a, a it's it's more like a, a clinical support and not like a, a full fledged hospital so uh, the facilities provided are also accordingly okay so uh, that being said this is uh, the end of this video we have spoken about all major departments again depending on the the itinerary the class of ships there would be specific positions that they look for but these are the roles which are open right now for uh, everybody to apply and look for opportunities uh, on board so the next video which i'm going to be making is very specific to how to apply for positions you know how which are the websites which you should go for and that's my next one so don't forget uh, as usual to leave in your comments any feedback that you have uh, anything that in particular that you would like to know about and this is the opportunity for you to do it thank you very much everybody for joining me for this video and like i always say listen the sea is calling you.